It's a nice sunny day, and I thought today would be a good day to tell you about some patients that I had that burned their eyes by looking at the sun. Uh, it's a good story because the eclipse is coming up, and I'll tell you about how I plan to look at the eclipse. So it was 1994, I was a first year resident at Johns Hopkins, and I was manning the emergency room there, and some three sisters came in, and they were all very upset. So the sisters had heard from somebody at their church that if you looked at the sun, you could see the uh, face of the Virgin Mary in the sun. So it was a morning, it was like 8.30 in the morning, and the oldest of the sisters, they were all in their early 30s, the oldest of the sisters had been making breakfast and decided to try it. So she went out and she looked up at the sun and she very quickly noticed that something weird was happening with her vision. So she calls up the other sisters and says, oh, you gotta go out and look at the sun. So the second sister decided to give it a try. She went out and looked up at the sun and after a minute or so, she thought this is stupid and decided not to do it anymore. But the first sister went back out and took a good long look at the sun. Um, when the first sister uh, went back inside and looked at her kids, she freaked out because when she looked at the faces of each of her children, instead of seeing her face, they just saw, she just saw a weird like smear of flesh tone. Uh, so she panicked. Uh, the, the, the little sister came and picked them all up and they brought them all over to Wilmer, the emergency room. So what had happened was the first sister, when she was looking up at the sun and was noticing a weird green halo around the image of the sun, that wasn't, unfortunately, was most likely not a image of a deity, but rather was the image of her retina being burned. The retina doesn't have any pain receptors in it. The only thing it can do is sort of light, dark, light, dark, and some colors and contrast. That's about all it can do. Um, so when you burn it, what you see is light, and that's what she was seeing. Uh, why the children had a smear fl of flesh instead of a face is that when you have a missing chunk of your vision, you don't actually have a black spot like you sort of see in movies and things like that. Your brain tries to fill in black spots. It's actually quite good at filling in blank spots in your vision. And uh, it fills in the blank spot sort of the way um, Adobe Photoshop does. If you've ever used one of its heel buttons, or um, I think it's called, it, it looks like a little Band-Aid, the, the spot brush tool. Um, and so since it was trying to heal, it was trying to fill in that blank spot where the face would be, it sort of filled in with the rest of the skin and the hair. And that's why the kids had that horrible flesh tone smear look, which was so nasty. Um, at the time, uh, we did some different tests on her. She, sure enough, she had a burn spot right in the center of her her retina in her fovea, and um, she had, I think, 20, 60, 20, 80 vision at the time in her dominant eye. Uh, but over the period of about six months, the vision did return to something close to 2020, maybe 2025, a little worse than that. Uh, and she had a little bit of uh, metaphor, uh, metamorphopsia, which is the fancy doctor term for everything looks a little wiggly in the eye. And sometimes people lose a little color vision in that area. It's just too bad. And what had happened was, Obviously, she was looking at the sun, um, and people I've I've seen in the lay press, oh, the UV light is what hurts your retina. But actually, when you look at a plain old bare naked sun, the regular light hurts your eyes. <laughs> the UV light sure isn't good for you. Um, all that light is very bright, and all of it is focused on your retina by the cornea and by the lens inside your eye. It's, it's, just don't don't look at the sun kids it's just not a good idea so how do i plan to look at the eclipse the answer is very carefully of course uh, particularly because the eclipse will be at its maximum right around noon at noon the light from the sun and the energy waves from the sun have to pass through the, t the least amount of atmosphere and so looking at it for a short amount of time is that the is when you have the highest risk. The reason you can look at the sun early in the morning and late in the afternoon, watching the sun rise or the sun set, is because at that point, the light and the energy rays from the sun are passing through the most amount of atmosphere. And in fact, the sisters that looked at the sun, it was lucky for them that they were doing it at 8.30 in the morning or their burns would have been far worse. So absolutely, I went to the NASA website to get uh, referral for which filters to get and where to buy them. Uh, so make sure you have filters if you plan to look up at the sun. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, the NASA site says, oh, you can only look at, up at the sun if you're at totality, if the moon is completely blocking the sun. 
If you are planning to do that, if I was in an area where I could see 100% totality, I would be like, okay. <laughs> I would not look. Actually, I would be like this. Okay. Because I also plan to only look with one eye. Anything that's farther away from you than 20 feet, uh, that would be like six or seven meters. Uh, anything farther away than that is not seen with stereo vision. There is absolutely no reason that you have to look at the sun with both your eyes. Uh, so if you're going to risk your vision, uh, only risk one eye. I'm planning to look at it with my left eye. I'm right eye dominant. Um, I'm only going to look at it with one eye. Uh, if I were still in practice, I would not look at it ever because uh, as an ophthalmologist, as an eye surgeon, I had to have 20-20 vision in both eyes so that I could have stereo vision so that I could peel little, you know, four micron membranes off of things and stuff like that. So um, my advice is uh, try not to look at it at all. If you are, make sure or hopefully you're going to have good filters. Look at it with only one eye. Uh, be safe out there, kids.